Our six o'clock show, Science Lab, and uh, Luke is taking us into the world of cloning and DNA. I am shockingly. Is it <laughs> Here I am in my lab coat. Isn't it great? I love it. as if we're in your this job. I brought my lab into the studio. Isn't that? <laughs> so, okay. You look great, like by the way. You look yeah. wonderful. Yeah. yeah. I think you look like a butcher, Martin. Fresh to be honest with you, but anyway. Don't want a bit of red steak with that now. <laughs> <laughs> Clone Instagram, right? This is a real thing. Influencers in the US are cloning their pets they and are. it is giving rise to this kind of worrying trend. Well, if you love your pet and your pet dies, you can clone it. Isn't that a wonderful thing? It's 45,000 euro, by the way, to clone your dog. 25,000 for your cat. So it's a bit expensive, but it Why can be it done. Why is more expensive for a dog? Good question. I don't know. Cats are smaller, maybe, but it's more expensive for a dog anyway. And, and Barbara Streisand famously cloned her dog, Samantha. Uh, and she got two clones, Miss Violet and Miss Scarlet. These two beautiful exact replicas of, of, of Samantha, so she was delighted with herself. Because that's the thing, is it going to be an exact replica? It is with dogs, interestingly, can they, they seem to be perfect clones. Cats are a bit different, so that the pattern on, on a cat's coat is, is called epigen after genes have been isolated, the coat changes colour basically, you know, so it may not be in the genes, coat colour. The second thing that might be different is the personality might be different as well. So even though, you, even though Samantha might have been a lovely cuddly dog, the clone might have a different personality because the environment affects personality. Yeah, so okay. it is a nature nurture debate, even. It is, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Is, it, is, it, is it IVF? Is it like IVF? It's like IVF. What you do is you, you take a skin cell, right? Yeah. And then you take the DNA from the skin cell, take an egg, remove the DNA from the egg, and put in the DNA from the skin cell, yeah. and that's your clone, basically. Normal, normal fertilization is sperm an egg, the DNA mixes. In this case, you're using DNA from a skin cell, basically. Dolly famously, remember the, the first the sheep, mammal, yeah. was taken from um, the mammary gland, or the DNA was right. taken. And it was named, and Dolly was named after Dolly Parton, unfortunately. <laughs> 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 but that's the name Dolly. So they took, they took DNA from the mammary gland of the, of the, of the parent, if you will, okay. stuck it in an egg, and then the egg is implanted, like IVF, the egg is implanted, you see. And so, so could we be talking about super pets? We could, ultimately, yes, because you might modify the DNA, you see, and, and introduce certain traits into the clone animal. That, that's where the, the future might lie with this, basically. OK, so, so, so they might be immune to infections and diseases Precisely. and viruses. Yes, exactly. It was done initially, actually, for farming. Like, could you make Dolly to make insulin, for example, in yeah. Dolly's milk? And then you could use that as a way to make insulin using engineering. That was the first idea, really, in many ways. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, you could modify the DNA and make a pet with certain traits, and it could be things like insulin or whatever it might be. OK, but you'd really want to love, love, love your dog because you need 45 grand. You need 45 grand, precisely. Now, that's the question. Yeah, exactly. okay. And then the other worry is maybe the clones might be get, getting sicker more than the parent. There's a few ethical concerns around this as well, by the way. But it's, it's a big business in America. There's many people cloning their pets. OK, could we clone for food? You could clone to make more, more, more beef on a cow, for example, maybe that kind of thing. Yeah. You might be able to improve food production in that way. But the big one, Martin, as you say, is resistance to diseases. You could build in viral and, and bacteria resistance. Okay. And that means less need for antibiotics, for example, which could be a useful thing. So there's all kinds of useful things that make them out of cloning. Okay. Um, this first kind of came up in Hollywood in Jurassic Park. And yes. we saw the dinosaurs come back to life. Could this potentially yeah. work in real life? Look, there we go, the owl. Yeah, do you remember, remember this, this bit? famous scene? That was a bit of science fiction, sadly. Oh. <laughs> um, we haven't managed to isolate any DNA from a dinosaur thing like that. that that's, that's a bit of a challenge, you know? But what they are doing is extinct animals. So uh, an, an organism called an ibex type of goat, that had become extinct. They got some DNA somewhere, you know, mm -hmm. and they cloned the ibex, and the ibex then was there again. So one of the big uses might be to bring back extinct animals is one of, one of the uses of this, really. This is crazy, because we know if they're doing this with animals... Oh, yeah. Could they eventually do this well, with humans? big controversy, yes, because primates have been cloned, and they're close relatives to mm -hmm. us, you see. That, was, that can happen for definite. So humans could be cloned. And in China, a Chinese scientist claimed to have cloned a human, right? with two offspring, basically, were clones of the parent. Right. And this guy went to jail, because it's still unethical, you see. Yeah. We don't know the consequences of cloning yet, you see. So at the moment, it's possible to do it, but you wouldn't want to. Were the twins you know, OK? Do we know what allegedly, I've Allegedly. It was all a bit alleged. It was a proven they were clones. There's a little bit of controversy. Oh, you know. OK. And, and those twins, actually, Karen, were resistant to HIV, amazingly. The right. gene was modified, and those twins then could be resistant to AIDS. Now, if that's true, that could be ultimately a very useful thing, but still very ethically unsound, is the idea. All oh, right, so you're about to offer yourself I'm as about a to be Are you ready? <laughs> Get now. ready, everyone's now, about to be too. Now, you need to project. Now, this is most unladylike. 
You've got to produce loads of spit. Because, <laughs> because now, the reason is we're going to extract DNA from your saliva. Kind of makes okay, can I just say... I thought this in. would be a delicate little cotton bud, like an antigen test swab in no, my cheek. No, no. S spit like crazy in there, then, is the idea. OK, now, uh, does she need to go to the back <sighs> of her throat for this? As much as you can. As much does as it you need, can. Do we need to get very <laughs> nasally here? I'm just trying to cover the noise that Karen is yeah, making. Yeah, cover the noise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll talk among ourselves. <laughs> now, <laughs> Karen, Karen, yeah. that's a wine yeah. glass. Oh, you need to fill it. How's it going for you? Keep like going. Gonna... Keep going. Give, another, give, give another, a... one more spit. Uh, go on. Uh, yeah, go on. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, but that's great noise. Did isn't you it? hear that? Yeah. Yeah. It's wonderful. I can see our football field cleared in our throat. Uh, yeah. It's really hard to get. Is that enough? Uh, yeah. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. So, give a wine glass. One more go. You did bring a pint glass initially, but... Derek, this is the spitting of the Eurovision Song oh. Contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to win for it. Now, yeah. Yeah. now in there, in I there... What, we're going to be hitting walls by the end of this show. cells from your body are in that spit <clears throat> cells. We're okay. going to add a bit of salt, right? A tiny bit of salt goes in. You can do, anybody can do this at home, like in the kitchen. This is a fun now, one, Now, the yeah. salt, that swells up the cells. They begin to swell up now and there, you see. Now we're going to burst them open, right, with some washing up liquid. Very simple. So... That will burst open the cells to so release the DNA. So this is something you could literally yeah. try at home. So now what's happening now is the cells from your spit, they're releasing their DNA now outside because the washing up has burst open the cells. You know? Now, the next bit is this, this pineapple thing. There's a, there's a thing called a protease in pineapple. It's why you stick it on your gammon, by the way. It helps digest the protein. That protease will dissolve some of the protein that we need to get rid of some protein now. Right? So the protein now is being dissolved away by that. And now the magic ingredient is Martin's favourite thing, pure alcohol. <laughs> no, I did bring two shot glasses. <laughs> now, now, the alcohol will precipitate the DNA. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. And we'll see the DNA. If we're lucky now, we'll see little strands come out. Now, that's all we need. Can I ask what now, percentage oh, there is it is. alcohol? Now, the white stuff in there that you can just about see is your DNA. See, see that? Have I spooled it up? Can you see that little strand? Well, let's see there it is. It's fantastic. Can you see the thin strand there? Can you see a kind yeah. of thin strand? Oh, yeah, like I can. That is your DNA. OK, we if have you released... pop it down at the table, we're going to try and get a proper we have uh, released... look at it on there, camera. Now look at that, up the side of the glass now. That's your DNA. strong DNA. See that stuff there? That is your DNA, up the side of the glass. Little strands of DNA. Now, I could take that DNA, take an egg, right, stick your DNA in the egg. A human egg. A human egg, implant that into a surrogate mother, and you, a Karen, would grow from... Another it. Karen. Isn't that terrifying? So, <laughs> so isn't that Because yeah. she, she's taking yeah. a few weeks off in the summer. <laughs> could, Actually, could, I'm well, looking well, for someone to cover some People's minds are, You can see your aunt. That's the first time you've seen your aunt. All that stuff, all those streaks, even. That's your DNA. That's come out of, so, your, of, your, of those cells. So you could really potentially well. rob my DNA, because this was a worry for one very famous lady. Madonna right. had issue with this from a hairbrush that was taken exactly. from her. Tell us about yeah, this she story. Could take, you can take DNA from anywhere the cells. So a hairbrush will trap some of the cells from your scalp, you know, and that could be used to isolate her DNA and clone Madonna, potentially, or find things out about her. Remember, you can sequence that DNA and tell us what diseases you might be at risk of, for instance. And very importantly, a great story this week is uh, mutations in cancer can be spotted in DNA now. And oh, I can right. see if you've got any mutations and then maybe treat you for cancer quickly, you see. It'll be a first sign you might be at risk of developing a so tumour. this is so. interesting for lung cancer in particular. Lung cancer, yeah, a big study on smokers. They discovered in their DNA, if you were a smoker now, I could take your DNA, Which I'm not. see if there's mutants in that, mutations in that DNA that, that, that the smoking has caused, basically, and then tell you your risk of developing lung cancer, which would be tremendous, and I could treat you. So this is cancer. long before so from, from it would it DNA, ever show its face? Absolutely, we're very early like diagnosis. Years, yeah, years, years oh, potentially. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So the, the DNA can be used for all kinds of things. The other big one, Martin, is crime scenes, of course. I could take a sample yep. of DNA match it to you or Karen and prove you're at that crime scene oh, God. if you were a criminal. So that's, that's the other use of DNA. I'll go Many as a character uses. witness for you. You'll be all right. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So there it is. Yeah, there's your very oh, own... There. You see, all that white stuff is your DNA. Can you see that Look at that. Stuff? If you catch that now, that's all the DNA that got Ew. released from your, 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 your oh, saliva. Oh, it's dribbling off the yeah. stick. Yeah. Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. That is okay. mental. It's, so, it's a thing of beauty. If you're a biochemist, it's a beautiful thing. Okay. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, that whole spitting that. sequence you know will be so everywhere by tomorrow. Yeah, Play right. that in my obituary. Thanks, Mark Mojack. <laughs> 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 <laughs>